voted for him in the National Network of Frontier Organization. Yeah. Uh, I have three, four things before I, uh, uh, before I ask the question. The first one is I would like to congratulate Mr. J. Sager and his organization. And I would like to say to the non-profit side, you are truly leading. Because as a non-profit organization, you have taken a commitment uh, towards environment. And I am sure how many corporates have green buildings and concern for the environment as a non-profit organization has. And I hope that in the coming days, corporates will come into this sector. Secondly, I am glad that Christopher mentioned about creative capitalism. In fact, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, when they proposed all these ways of capitalism, they started giving a shape to it. And the most appropriate one, human capitalism has come up. The question, as a grassroots, or working with a grassroots, which I always had got, seeing the evolution of corporate social responsibility sector in India, I always felt that it is more of a corporate business responsibility rather than what we are calling corporate social responsibility. A company which is polluting water has a primary area of water purification <coughs> system. A company who felt that uh, they, they are degrading environment, majority of the fund they are spending on the environment. This is where I always felt that it is a corporate business responsibility which they have to fulfill in any way. And where they were not able to understand where to put in their money, they are just you know, giving in grants and donations without even having any clue what the nation wants, what the society wants. From the grassroots perspective, in fact I would like to share that the concept of creative capitalism has come up. Professor Mohammed Yunus in his recent book on social enterprises mentions very rightly Warren Buffett has given away all his money to Bill Gates Foundation to do the charity work. And Professor Yunus asks, the greatest business leader of the world can he teach business ethics or business strategies to some of the micro entrepreneurs to that money? Can a social enterprise can be developed which they did with their own and targeting at a human, you know, uh, Grameen Bank tied up with their own and they started a social enterprise owned by the members. They, took, uh, they come out with a yogurt to address the issue of mal uh, uh, nutrition in their own country, Bangladesh. And the profits, of course, some of the profits have been shared with the stakeholders as well, as Professor Bakshi rightly said. The approach should be more of shared prosperity. And how do we achieve that uh, shared prosperity? In fact, when I was uh, uh, listening to Mr. Yusuf, it is a fact, it is not that Tatas are working in this country just when the corporate social responsibility concept has come in the country, but they are working much beyond that. Today, Tata Endowment Fund is more than 500 crores. They are working with more than 700, 800 NGOs. And they were working for the last 25, 30 years. And another case, I came from Andhra Pradesh. I know what Bayaraju Foundation did, the tainted man itself. But there are some good things which Bayaraju Foundation actually did. They tried to reorient towards the livelihood approach and try to help the grassroots worker. Today when he is behind the bar, <coughs> the people of his village is doing prayers just because of the CSR activities that the company has done and the type of benefit that leads to the grassroots. It means to say that how the companies are using CSR is very obvious now. I see a big gap. The big gap between the vision that India developed in year 2020, between the planning commission which comes out with the priority areas, with other stakeholders what they are doing. Why can't corporates join us with the vision of the government, <coughs> with the vision 2020, and add on to the areas where they are required more? Why can't corporates get into social enterprise models and develop small entrepreneurs to grow and share prosperity can be developed. And it, it has to be achieved. How do we go about it? I'll be glad to know for the more information from the in this country. That the model where an organization uh, partners with either an NGO or a social enterprise or some other entity for a mutual benefit 
And I think that's the, the important part of this as well. I mean, our, my organization has done some work with, the, uh, with Professor Eunice. And how he differs from in, in rural banking. We've also done work with the Gates Foundation on rural banking as well. And they come at the problem from two different angles. Um, Professor Eunice's organization is of the strong belief that work like that shouldn't be, should be not for profit. Whereas the Gates point of view, I mean, this is simplifying it to, to, to an extent, the Gates point of view is that it should be profitable for it to be sustainable, for it to carry on and uh, develop in other parts of the country, other parts of the world as well. But they both agree that the collaboration and the way that they uh, address an issue like rural banking, they're both on the same path. It's just that they're choosing two different routes to get to the, to, to the end. So I think, I think that's how it's going to be very important, in, in, especially in a country like this, uh, where I believe CSR will be redefined. And you know, part of this discussion is the redefinition of CSR. Um, and I think that's where it's going to be very important for us. Thank you, Yusuf. And just to kind of answer that, uh, just to add to that, is that uh, we had a presentation on Amul and NDDB in Bombay, where we could not have uh, Professor Vargas, Dr. Vargas Kurian with us because his underwear and not able to travel. Uh, but we had his executive assistant who served with him for the past 18 years. And that's a classic business model, which actually was created to kind of, you know, have equal distribution of wealth. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, Chris, what do you want? What the reviews are doing and uh, uh, examples like Gravity Bank and uh, market profit models. What is increasingly happening is uh, that uh, we have organizations, unfortunately, I can't name them, uh, but uh, uh, there, there is a very large insurance company in India, and you'll see it happening in the next uh, few months, which is coming up with micro insurance, which is aimed, it's a product which is aimed at. Uh, people with with uh, uh, very very low incomes and uh, the kind of, the kind of scheme that the business model that they developed uh, is amazing simply because of the fact that uh, you get uh, a, a person who can't afford to take a regular insurance policy can actually take it by paying a one time premium, which is absurd when you compare it to the monetary boundary charge. There are there are other other companies like this who are looking who are looking at this models which are based on tapping the bottom of pyramids. And uh, the amazing thing is that these businesses are actually very, very common. Um, and they are also, they're also very non-traditional. This is not, uh, they are, they are, and this is where creative capitalism comes in. Uh, Bill Gates' quotation was also in reference to the advanced, uh, uh, market, the advanced uh, market control program which developed a drug for the developed countries, again on a profit basis. And uh, if you look at the pharmaceutical and healthcare sector in India today, I think there's a very big business opportunity. Uh, I've been talking a lot in the last couple of months uh, to uh, healthcare and pharmaceutical companies. The government of India, for example, has, uh, has made very clear that they cannot and will not be building hospitals uh, across the country. They can't afford it. They don't have the money. So if there is going to be affordable healthcare, and uh, access to, uh, to medicine from uh, for for uh, people who can't afford uh, it as of now, it has to be done by the private sector. This is, this is a business opportunity, and I know there are people we're talking to who are looking at at this as a business. Uh, as a